Natural Mommy here to do a bag review for all of you. This is my MZ Wallace Max Tote in the color Wave Tie Dye. So again, the brand is MZ Wallace. The bag style is the Max Tote and the colorway is the Wave Tie Dye. So really, really cute. But what's different about this bag, you guys, is that when I ordered it, I knew that the inside had a really nice pink lining. And right after that, the hot pink accessories came out. And so this bag, you guys, as soon as it came, I didn't use it. I waited. I waited until all of my accessories came and you guys, I ordered the sand pouch on the inside, which is so good from a retail shop, not MZ Walls, but from an actual like brick and mortar store. And it took them six weeks, six weeks to send it to me. I waited six weeks, you guys, but the wait was worth it because this looks so cute. I've carried this bag out as is all up like this for about a week now. And every single time I can tell you every time I've carried it and twice it's been to different dentist offices because you guys root canal, yikes, dentist and endodontist. Everywhere I take this, people ask me about it. It's just a visually stunning bag and color combination. Just really, really good. And I cannot wait to share it with you. So the Wave tie-dye print by MZ Wallace does have silver hardware. So you can see that here on the sides. It does come with silver hardware. And then I did add the strap extra. So this is a crossbody strap in neon pink. So that color is called neon pink. And down here, what you're gonna see here is a sold separately small Metrolink pouch. That is bright pink. Now the reason I point that out before we get into the bag is that you'll notice that the neon pink and the bright pink are slightly different colors. And I thought it was gonna bother me, but it really, really doesn't. I, I think they're similar enough that it looks really good when it's hanging on the body. But just know if you do want this color combination, the pinks are not exactly the same. This is neon pink and this is bright pink. So like I always do, let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag and then we'll talk about the inside of the bag. Now the first thing I am gonna do, you guys, is I'm going to go over the Metrolink pouch here and go over the strap and then I'm gonna take them off the bag so they're kind of not in the way while we're going over the whole setup of the bag. So right here again, this is the small Metrolink pouch and remember we talked about that, this is the color bright pink and it is really, really bright and beautiful. And in here are my quick grab like COVID slash medical supplies. Um, my mom is very sick. We go to the doctors a lot. So I have some nitrile gloves. I have some dental wax because like I said, root canal is a real thing. And you guys, these are my new favorite things. Look at this. These are Purell hand sanitizer packets and they are thin, like credit card thin. They're so good. So those are just easy, quick grab things right here on this Metrolink pouch. Now again, this is the sold separately strap and it does have a link right here that you can hang any of the Metro League pouches that come small, medium, and large. They are sold separately or you can hang whatever else you wanna hang from your bag right there. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the sold separately strap, I do wanna to touch on something really quick because I did not know this before I bought the strap. Now, this is a strap that actually comes with the bag. You'll notice it's like a charcoal gray nylon. Now the bag, the sold separately bag strap, not only does it look different, see how the one that comes with the bag has a seam that runs down the, the side and is more of like a textured material. This one's smoother, but it's also a little bit wider. So let's put them like this. You can see it's maybe an eighth of an inch wider than the strap that comes with the bag. And I will tell you, even though it doesn't look like very much, I really, really, really enjoy the way this strap feels on my shoulder. That width is just absolutely perfect. And I never, I mean, I do like the width of the standard straps. I have a bunch of them, but this one is just so good. So if you're on the fence about a sold separately strap, at least the neon ones, um, they're, they're really good and they're wider than the standard strap. Now, while we're talking about accessories, the bag does come with a very large pouch. That's because this bag can roll up, squish up, be compressed, and fit right inside this bag. So you can use this to pack inside the bag, but you can also use it to store your Max Tote when you're not using it. It's a really nice big pouch. Let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag now. Remember, we talked about the fact that it has silver hardware. The MZ Wallace always does a great job with the hardware. It's really nice and sturdy. You do have the logo right here. I'll let you get a nice close-up look at that. It's really understated, really beautiful. Now this bag can be carried over the shoulder, crossbody, or over the shoulder with the tote straps. Now the tote straps do have that signature Italian leather on it. And it does have the red trim on the leather. Now the drop length on these is 9.8 inches. I know a lot of you ask me that. So the drop length on these is 9.8 inches. It's a great, I'm five foot four. It really hits me in a great spot when I carry it over the shoulder. But my preferred way to carry this bag, if I'm carrying it for a long period of time, is with a crossbody strap. 
Now this bag does have four external pockets, has two slip pockets, one on the front and a matching one on the back, and then two side pockets or bottle pockets if you're using it as a diaper bag. So right here in this front pocket, I don't have anything, but I wanna show you how deep it is. It goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna put my whole arm in here. So you can see where my hand is. So it's a very nice expansive pocket. This is where I keep my cell phone. side bottle pocket right here. I don't have anything in. So I wanted to give you a shot of this bottle pocket right here. This is a 25 ounce Brewmate hydration flask or hydration bottle. It's so good. Brewmate's one of my favorite brands for insulated products, for drink products. If you're not familiar with Brewmate or you are familiar with Brewmate, I will go ahead and put a link in the description box below to help save you some money if you want to shop Brewmate. But again, this is a 25 ounce bottle. Look how great it fits in there. And it's just, it's so good. Well, let's move on to this side pocket. Again, it's a matching bottle pocket. And in here I have a Purell hand sanitizer and a Tubby Todd all over ointment. This is my favorite hand cream of all time. This will also be linked down in the description box below for anybody who wants to try out the Tubby Todd products. All of them are so good. Now back here on the back side, we have that matching slip pocket that I had on the front where I keep my cell phone. And back here I put quick grab items. So I have a pen and I have a lip oil and that's all I have in there right now. But I'll also throw receipts in there and other things sometimes. And then back here, this is a magnetic snap pocket. And this is a full length pocket. It's the full width of the bag. And again, it does have a magnetic popper. You guys can see that. For you guys, for any of you who've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know Velcro is a dirty word for me. I love magnets. It's got a great magnet on it. And back here I keep some quick grab stuff. So I have masks for the adults in my family and for the kids. I have a couple of play pack cases. It's a really strong magnet. magnet. You see it wants to magnet, it wants to magnetize itself and I'm not even trying to do it. And this is just a receipt from the dentist. But again, remember this is a magnet pocket. I'll give you a nice shot in there. And notice there's a gray lining here. So this part of the bag has a gray lining, but wait till you see the inside lining. This is also your trolley sleeve though, you guys. So if you're not using it as a pocket and you're traveling with it, this is what you'd unzip so you can put it over your luggage handle and you could go ahead and use it as a trolley sleeve. Now, while we're down here, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the bag. You do have your four signature leather feet along with the diamond MZ Wallace logo with the blind embossed insignia. Okay, now I've been flapping this bag all around, so let's see if items have shifted during recording. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like. Now, one of my favorite things about MZ Wallace, and again, for those of you who've been watching my, my channel for any length like of time, my biggest pet peeve with tote bags is when they don't zip completely closed. Like when you have the flap and they've got big holes on either side, I do not like that. I love that MZ Wallace gives you this extra material. Not only does this allow your bag to zip completely closed on either side, but you could really pack this full. Now I'm a self-proclaimed overpacker and this thing is full and I still have a ton. I mean, look at this, you guys. I still have a ton of room in here. I could put so much in here. I could put jackets, sweaters, sweatshirts, you name it. I could put it in here, a lunchbox, two lunchboxes. Really nice smooth zipper. It does open with one zipper. And I'll give you a shot in here before I take anything out. Let me see if I can hold it so you can get a nice shot in there. Now the very first thing you're gonna see right on top here, you guys, this is my favorite new Amazon find. You guys, I get skin cancer. I have green green eyes and red hair and I am prone to skin cancer. This is a Coolio and I'll link it below for anybody who wants it. It's an SPF scarf, it's an SPF 50 scarf. It's huge, massive. I can cover my entire body with it. It's good while I'm driving in the car. It's good if we end up somewhere outside and I'm not prepared. I have like a tank top on and I, I burn through sunscreen, you guys. I always wear sunscreen. I will burn in 15 minutes sometimes, even through like SPF 50. So this thing is amazing and it literally folds into nothing and is super lightweight. My favorite find of like the last month. Now that I've taken that wrap out, I'll go ahead and give you another look in here of what it looks like. So what you're gonna see again is you have this gray lining up here, but look at the inside. The inside is so beautiful. It matches, look at this. So this is that Metrolink pouch, and then this is the strap. And it just looks so, so, so cute. Now right here on the side, I'll go ahead and just pull out my keys. 
They are attached to the key, le the key leash. And right next to that, standing on this side right here, I do have my small mica pouch. And again, this is the color bright pink. So this is the small mica in bright pink. And this is just kind of like my mommy essentials pouch. I have sunscreen, I have hand soap, I have SPF face powder, SPF lip stuff, a roll of baggies, a mirror, just anything I might need. Now standing right next to that, I have my sand pouch, and this is in the neon patchwork. Now this is the one that I waited forever to show up from Saks, you guys. I ordered it from Saks six weeks. I think it was like six and a half weeks. It took forever, but look how cute it is. I mean, it's just like, it's just so cute. And in here I have snacks and I have eating stuff because we would end up eating out. I do have two little girls, I have four kids, but two of my kids are very young. And so I do keep snacks for them because again, my mom is sick and sometimes we have to be out for a long period of time. So I have some mango pieces. I have a couple of these beef sticks, some nut packets, a treat, another treat. This was a free sample from, uh, from Target. Believe it or not, I just threw it in there. Um, I have a one bar. These are the plant-based one bars. They're pretty good, you guys, for anybody who's wanting to try something a little bit more natural. And then this is a Sugar Burger case. Sugar Burger is a silverware brand that I used when my kids were very, very young, like babies. They don't need the baby silverware anymore, but this case is great because it magnetizes close and it keeps our bars from getting crushed. So I have a couple of the little kind bars and I have a This Saves Lives bar down here. Now the back side of the sand pouch has kind of some more eating supplies in it. So I have a few of those hand sanitizer packets that we talked about, a couple of boogie wipes to wipe hands or faces if I needed to. Got three of those in there. This is a straw, you guys. So this is a reusable straw and I'm trialing it out and it's pretty cool. It's an expandable straw. So far it's really, really good and it comes with a cleaner. So um, we haven't actually used it yet. It's been washed, but we haven't actually used it yet but pretty excited about that because we live in a no straw state. And then I have some tabletop or mats right here. And this is what the inside of the sand pouch looks like. It is a bright orange, neon orange. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hurry before everything starts falling over. So standing right next to all that stuff is our mini med case. This is by Prepare a Kid. It's just a tiny little med pouch. Anybody who's interested, I will link it in the iCards above. I did a whole review on our med pouches. Then this is what I'm using as my wallet. This is a Dagny Dover Mara phone sling, and this is the color Onyx. It's really, really good. I think it just looks really pretty, and I really like this as a wallet. And then right next to that is another Dagny Dover pouch, and this has some just fun supplies for the girls in it. So I have some of these Polly Pocket trinkets, and thank you, shout out to my good friend, Nicole, who's hello, happy mom. She told me about these, these are so good. You guys, these are mini Polly Pockets. But I also have some fidget toys in here, some My Little Ponies, um, I think, the, and, and some sea life creatures. Just little things to keep them busy and entertained. But I do have to open these and show you guys because they are just like way too cute. So look at the little Polly Pockets. And inside these things, there's a whole bunch of little, this one came with rabbits and it has like a little stroller and a little person. And the other one has cats. So just so cute. And I will try to link as much as I can of this stuff, you guys, down in the description box for anybody who wants any of this stuff for themselves. Now, just like in true MC Wallace fashion, you do have two leather trimmed slip pockets here on the front side of the bag. Remember, this is the front side. And right here, I have a full pack of Mentos gum. And then I have a Dagny Dover card case that has my business cards in it. And then the only thing left in here is the back side of the bag, you guys. This is the back zipper pocket. You do have that, again, that Italian leather with the red trim. You do have the blind embossed MZR. You have the foil embossed MZ Wallace logo. And in here is where I keep stuff that I don't want my little ones to get at very often. Now, the very last thing on the back side of this bag is this leather trim pocket. It is the Italian leather with, again, that red edging. And you do have the foil embossed MZ Wallace logo down here. And back here is where I keep things I don't want my little girls to get at. So right here I have a rough and tumble pouch that has my time of the month supplies in it. And then the only other thing I have in here is another rough and tumble pouch. And this has uh, migraine medication, contacts, hair stuff, another, um, another mirror, dental floss. Again, just things I don't want my little ones to get at. 
There are also two slip pockets inside this pouch, but I don't typically utilize those. And then in here too as well, there's also like a Metro card pouch right here and I don't usually use that either. And just again, for those of you who are not super familiar with the MZ Wallace brand, their just attention to detail is really, really nice. I mean, even on the grommets here, I'll let you get a nice look at this grommet. They even have the MZ Wallace logo on the grommets on the bag. It's just so well done. Now the overall weight of this bag, this is a very, very lightweight bag. This bag weighs 1.5 pounds unpacked. It is very, very lightweight. It's just, it's stunning. And it literally crumples down into nothing, you guys, like into nothing, into that little pouch that I showed you guys before. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to shop MZ Wallace with me, I'd be greatly appreciative of that. It costs you nothing, and I do earn a little bit of money to help support my family through you shopping through that link. No pressure. I hope everyone's well and staying safe. Until next time, you guys, bye-bye.